Oh, this is my review of the Magic Refiner Mark 11 or Mark 2. Uh, depending on whether those are Roman numerals or not, I'm not sure. Okay, so the keyboard itself um, comes with sort of a typewriter sort of look. It's a ANSI keyboard, which means that um, it's in the American layout for a keyboard. Uh, as opposed to the typical English uh, ISO keyboard. So some features of this keyboard are the fact that it's got uh, 18 backlighting options. Um, so here's one of them. You have the ability to increase and decrease. Uh, both the speed and how bright the backlighting is. So here is a non-bite backlight and I'll put it into the brightest backlighting mode. Okay, so there's 18 options. Here is one of them. Here's another. And another. Here's another. Is a sort of a rainbowy effects one. So if you see something like this, you can also slow it down for a different effect. This is my favourite. Boom. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different light liking modes. Um, it also has uh, these different function buttons at the top. So there's this little home looking button. If you click this, then for some reason it brings up uh, Google Chrome. I'm guessing that's just your default browser. Uh, you've got this button, which brings up the uh, Windows Explorer to see all your different drives, which I quite like because I can never seem to get that up straight away from different uh, using different methods nowadays. So it's quite good. You've got uh, your default um, email app, your default uh, Windows Music app. You can lock the keyboard functionality. So if you click this uh, button, you the keyboard won't it will be disabled so you won't be able to type so unclick that uh, this is the power switch for the uh, computer so I've tried this and if you click it the computer will just switch straight off so I'd recommend recommend only clicking this when you want to switch your computer off obviously and then a similar one for uh, sleeping making your computer sleep and then we'll try this one this is the calculator button which brings up your calculator on your computer if that's what you want to do. I'll close all of these down. Okay, so like I said, the keycaps are blue keycaps, so they have like a clicky feel to them. Um, you have, so I've shown this dial for the backlighting, it also has this other dial. This dial is used for controlling the music on your computer, so if you click it once, it will unpause your music. If you hold it down and turn it, it'll increase, increase the loudness, then same for the other way, you can decrease the loudness. And if you turn it, it will switch songs. 
find it quite easy to uh, switch between two songs instead of just one. When doing like this, you need a really light touch to just change one song. And then you can change it back. Is it going back songs by turning it the other way? Um, overall, I really like this keyboard. It seems uh, well built. Uh, I'd say it's built out of uh, hmm, probably uh, maybe like a metal top plate with uh, a solid plastic bottom. Uh, one of the things which I wish I would have added was a uh, like ability to sort of incline the keyboard. Uh, it seems to be just sat on one level. It would have been good if they had some feet to sort of incline it. Like you could use like a book or something to uh, do that yourself. However, um, it would be good if they just added it on. I think that would be an improvement that they could make. Uh, the cable itself seems to be quite good. It's like a braided cable which is attached straight into the keyboard itself. Uh, so it's not like uh, one that you can detach. Uh, and the the USB seems to be gold plated and quite a good standard for a USB, so that's good. Um, so overall, I'll say it's a very nice keyboard, uh, particularly if you like the uh, typewriter uh, type look of uh, keyboards. So it's, uh, it's very unique, I'd say. Uh, you don't often see keycaps like this. Um, yep. So I'll have a go at typing with this using a uh, typewriter in mind. Use a type around 70 words per minute so we can see how well we can do with this keyboard. So that was quite a good one. I managed to get 84 words per minute at 100% accuracy. So overall, I'd say it's a very good keyboard. Um, it's a bit hard for me because I'm used to a ISO keyboard. So if you want to get things such as the like the pipe symbol, then it's going to be a thing with all ANSI keyboards, it's just the way that they are. I found that you have to click ALT, SHIFT and then this button, which will get you your pipe logo symbol. Uh, most people won't need that, more than likely, unless you're uh, doing something like programming, in which case it's quite a common symbol to use. Um, yeah, so... Again, I'll have another few more goals at typepracer and then I think I've mentioned everything that I can think of for this keyboard.
Okay, so I think that just about wraps it up. Overall, it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, lots of functionality that comes with it. Uh, and I'd say it's more than reasonable for, uh, for the price that the 